Hey guys, I'm Tyra Kopstock and welcome to my channel. I represent Frontline Academy and I'm a student under Eduardo Teta Rios. I'm a full-time Jiu-Jitsu athlete and instructor and I created this page to share my techniques, training and Jiu-Jitsu journey with you. Feel free to like and subscribe and welcome to the family. Os. Hey guys, welcome to the intermediate class. So today we're going to go through some defense from double under. Starting off with some basic concepts and situations, uh, how far he has gotten into the double under. So we're going to start off with the easiest and the pre uh, preemptive kind of defenses and then uh, build our way down, okay? Or build our way up, I guess. <laughs> so here he has a double under or he's going for the double under. And let's say now he's going for the, the, um, the pants grip or he's going for the belt. Depending on how far he has gotten, of course, it's going to be harder, right? So watch how my knees, I'm not letting him get them on top of his shoulders, right? I'm looking to push my knees outwards and stretch my legs, okay? Almost simulating that I'm lifting my hip up by pushing my legs down, okay? This way, I become pretty heavy. And not only that, I become kind of like a wheelbarrow, right? So. If you've seen a wheelbarrow, you want to use your head here to become a small surface on the mat here, okay? So now, uh, let's say if you could just walk forward, watch how I slide backwards, right? Nice and easy. If I was sloppy here and my hips were, yes, last would be get heavy and I would, yeah, get really crushed here, okay? So I want to do this just to have a less surface on the mat and I can easily slide backwards. Of course, uh, some mats are gonna be more um, friction than others, right? So I have to keep that in mind. So sometimes you have to walk with your shoulders here to move backwards, okay? Now, for the hands. In this scenario, I'm gonna grab his sleeves here, four fingers on the outside here, and then keeping a nice firm, uh, uh, frame here, okay? So I wanna push with my hands and my like my arms so that they're straight, okay? This way, if he tries to come any closer or lift one of my legs, it's gonna be super hard, okay? Sometimes they're gonna to try to toss you over to one side. You wanna use your legs if you can to come back again, okay? So if he tosses me over to this side, I'm gonna use my foot to push and come back, okay? Go a little bit back, Lasse, please. So one more time here. So if you try to toss me this side, boom. And watch how even if I'm all the way here, I'm still pushing. So now if Lasse tries to do anything, he can't change his grips without losing and maintaining the position, okay? So that's the first step there. Now, to recover, nice and easy, I'm just gonna look to Put my hand, my legs in here, nice and easy. So as soon as I feel he's not here, making it difficult for me to get my legs in, I can get my foot inside, okay? Of course, you can also get your feet in from the outside like this and hook in here, okay? Keep in mind though, this is not a safe space, okay? If he stretches his leg, suddenly my hook is gone, okay? So, just thinking about this here, walking back, if I can, toss the leg in. If I can't, let's say he's too tight, but I can stretch him out here, I can start looking for the hooks on the inside here, okay? Of course, even further, you can start controlling his belt and sit up here, okay? This is also super nice to kill the, uh, the double under and the fender. Okay, from here, most likely if Lhasa wants to get any further, he's gonna let go and try to pass either double uh, over under kind of pass or change for a uh, more stand up kind of passing from this position. Okay. Okay guys, so we're gonna go a little bit further here on uh, the defense from the double under. So now this is gonna be my favorite uh, defense that I like to do. Um, same scenario, but this time, uh, keep in mind, I don't want to be fashionably late. I want to be early for this one because if this space closes, 
it's gonna be really hard for me to fight for it, okay? So I'm going on the inside of my thigh under his armpit and I wanna point my fingers to the roof here, okay? Basically, I'm putting my elbow to my hip bone here. So I'm creating a frame where I'm really strong like this, okay? Going under, pointing up like this, okay? I'm gonna uh, reinforce this hand with my other hand by grabbing palm to palm. Okay, so now I can really pull his shoulder forward. Just feel from this position that if Lasso tries to push me or go anywhere from here, I'm pretty strong to maintain this position. Okay? Should it? Uh, yeah, we can stay here. No, <laughs> go a little bit back. Perfect. So, palm to palm here, I want to bring his shoulder to me. Okay? If I break his grips, that's perfect too, right? But well, most likely it's going to be a fight from here and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to push Lasse's head with my elbow here, okay? When I do that, I'm going to create enough space so I can come with my leg over his head here, okay? From this position, I'm going to pull his arm to me, okay? So watch how his arm is kind of like a chicken arm, like this, okay? So I really want to bring his elbow out from his body. From this scenario, I like to set up my terricoplata. Right, so I bring this hand through and then go for the setup. But now we're just gonna keep it simple where let's say I pull the hand all the way out. I can now start to set up the omoplata or most likely, this happens a lot, people try to turn in towards you and you lock a triangle, okay? I also sometimes slide the wrist up to my neck, go for a nice rings or armbar or push it all the way over adjust and really get a tight triangle, okay? So, the ending is not really that important because most likely you're winning that battle and you probably find what you like from that scenario, okay? Important here is getting in the arm and tight here, okay? Palm to palm and getting all the way here. So now I'm pulling his shoulder but I'm gonna push his head away. Now I'm gonna bring this other leg over his head and keep pulling his arm, okay? Here, I can change for a fancy target plata or make it simple by pulling his arm all the way through, going for the old plata, or if he's stretching his arm, for example, here, I have the razor arm bar. If he's looking in, I'm looking to close the triangle here instead, right? Pass his arm over, you can adjust. There's a lot of attacks. One more time. Boom. Here, here. Okay, so this, this defense has definitely been a, a huge part of my game, especially countering in these big guys where they try to go double under and lift you up. So having this uh, inside, and also keep in mind the earlier uh, techniques that you want to keep your back to the floor like this and kind of slide backwards because even though you have your arm inside, you can still get crushed and smashed if you don't have that posture uh, to slide backwards. Okay. Thank you guys for today. Hope you guys like it. We'll see. <laughs> Love, like. <laughs> uh, hey guys, welcome to another week here at the intermediate class. And so today we're gonna to do some defense from the double under and how to kind of counter, uh, counter the double under passes. So starting from that very simple kind of way, and we're gonna build ourselves up here. So Lasse managed to get his hands around my thighs here. So now I'm in kind of a big trouble, okay? As you can see, if my knees are getting close to his head here, then it's really easy for him to manipulate side to side here, okay? So I always wanna to try to push my knees out to the side and keep a good posture where I'm pushing my head backwards. So if he tries to push up towards me, I'm becoming kind of like a wheelbarrow here, okay? By creating less of a surface to the mat, I can slide backwards, especially no knee, this should be really easy, okay? Of course, if it, uh, there's a lot of friction, I can use my shoulders to walk backwards, okay? So now I know what I have to keep and maintain of my upper body here, okay? I'm gonna look for his wrists with my arms here and control them, okay? And what I'm gonna do basically is I'm gonna stretch and keep my arms completely stretched in this position, okay? 
I'm looking for the moment to stretch my legs as well and let them slip out, okay? From here, I'm just looking to bring one leg in and then the other leg as well, okay? Of course, if it's here already and he's coming down, you have a free triangle and all of that, right? But very unlikely unless this is for a stay. So here, double under, I'm feeling that he's trying to toss my legs to the side. So I want to immediately control by pushing my knees to the side, bringing my heels to the floor and bringing my hip almost a little bit up here, okay? Watch how I'm bringing my shoulders back and not having my lower back to the floor. So I'm here and now I can control the scenario a little bit better, okay? I'm gonna stretch my arms here, okay? And now I'm gonna bring my legs down to get my foot up, okay? One is enough and then I can bring the other one or I see some attacks, I can go for a triangle there as well, okay? Super basic, nice and easy way of defending the double under. Uh, definitely been a huge help for me uh, during the years, okay? Awesome. Okay guys, so we're gonna go a little bit further here and this is gonna be my favorite way to counter the double under. And uh, this is also the way I like to set up for the Torico Plata. Uh, and so, let's just get started. This is a little bit preemptively, okay? So. It's important that I'm not fashionably late to the party. I want to make sure that I'm early, okay? This, by when I mean that, if he's already here, there is no space for my arm to come inside, okay? So what I'm looking for is when Lhasa is diving in, I'm going to get my arm inside here, okay? Watch how I'm going the inside of my thigh, under his armpit, and I'm pointing my fingers up towards the ceiling here, okay? So having this, I'm really pulling his shoulder forward and I'm posting my elbow on my hip bone here, okay? So with this, I'm gonna reinforce it with my other hand by going palm to palm. And just having this is gonna make it really hard for Lhasa to push me anywhere, okay? So Lhasa trying to pick me up. I can also keep him down by holding his shoulder or pulling his shoulder toward me, okay? So now from this position, I'm gonna push his head away using my elbow. So I'm gonna push his head away, bring my other leg over, and then you almost get 90 degrees out from Lasse's body here, okay? From this position is where I like to switch the arms and switch into the turtle plata, but we're gonna make it a little bit simple here. So right now, I'm gonna pull his arm all the way out, and I can now switch for a normal plata, or different scenario, he looks in towards me, I chop down, I go for a triangle, right? As well, you have a reverse uh, or razor arm bar here as well. I like to do that as sometimes they're gonna defend so you can get to pull this even further all the way to this side, okay? So here, as soon as I see that his hands are coming down, I'm gonna look for the armpit here, okay? So I'm gonna dive in. Ooh. So now palm to palm, I'm pushing his head away but I'm bringing his shoulder to me. Now, I'm going to get my leg over his head and push it away, okay? So from this position, I'm bringing his elbow out so it's kind of like a chicken arm here, okay? So here, I can now either switch for the turtle pop, turtle plata, I'm sorry. So here, but now I'm going to bring his arm out from my leg and I can now switch for the omoplata here, boom. Sometimes no gi, it's not a good idea. It will be easy for him to slip out, but I have the option. And now I can also catch his head with my leg here, okay? Toss the arm over or here, I have the razor arm bar. I have a couple of options from there, okay? Not too important where you end up as long as it's uh, a submission, right? But the defense where you get the arm inside has been working a lot for me. So it's uh, definitely a very successful technique. Well, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it.